Chapter 70, the seventh day, Duryodhana, wounded all over and suffering greatly, went to Bhishma and said, The battle had been going against us every day. Our formations are broken and our warriors are being slain in large numbers. You are looking on doing nothing. The grandsire soothed Duryodhana with comforting words. Why do you let yourself be disheartened? Here are all of us. Drona, Shalya, Kritavarma, Ashwatthama, Vikarna, Bhagadatta, Shakuni, the two brothers of Avanti, the Trikarta chief, the king of Magatha and Kripacharya. When these great warriors are here, ready to give up their lives for you, why should you feel downhearted? Get rid of this mood of dejection. Seeing, saying this, he issued orders for the day. See there, the grandsire said to Duryodhana, these thousands of cars, horses and horsemen, great war elephants and those armed foot soldiers from various kingdoms are all ready to fight for you. With this fine army, you can vanquish even the gods. Fear not. Thus cheering up the dejected Duryodhana, he gave him a healing balm for his wounds. Duryodhana rubbed it over his numerous wounds and felt relieved. He went to the field heartened by the grandsire's words of confidence. The army was that day arrayed in circular formation. With each war elephant were seven chariots fully equipped. Each chariot was supported by seven horsemen. To each horseman were attached ten shield bearers. Everyone wore armor. Duryodhana stood resplendent like Indra at the center of this great and well-equipped army. Yudhishthira arrayed the Pandava army in Vajravyuha. This day's battle was fiercely fought simultaneously at many sectors. Bhishma personally opposed Arjuna's attacks. Drona and Virata were engaged with uh, each other at another point. Shikantin and Ashwatthama fought a big battle at another sector. Duryodhana and Dr Drishtadyumna fought with each other at yet another point. Nakula and Sahadeva attacked their uncle Shalya. The Avanti kings opposed Yudhamanyu, while Bhimasena opposed Krutavarma, Chitrasena, Vikarna and Durmarsha. There were great battles between Gatotkaja and Bhagadatta, between Alambasa and Satyaki, between Buri Shravas and Drishtiketu, between Yudhishthira and uh, Srutayu, and between Ch uh, Chekitana and Kripa. In the battle between Drona and Virata, the latter was worsted and he had to climb into the chariot of his son Sangha, having lost his own chariot, horses and charioteer. Virata's sons Uttara and Sveta had fallen in the first day's battle. On this seventh day, Sangha also was slain just as his father came up to his side. Shikantin, Drupada's son, was defeated by Ashwatthama. His chariot was smashed and he jumped down and stood sword and shield in hand. Ashwatthama aimed his shaft at his sword and broke it. Shikantin then whirled the broken sword and hurled it at Ashwatthama with tremendous force. But it was met by Ashwatthama's arrow. Shikantin, badly beaten, got into Satyaki's chariot and retired. In the fight between Satyaki and Alambasa, the former had the worst of it at first but later recovered ground and Alambasa had to flee. In the battle between Drishtatyumna and Duryodhana, the horses of the latter were killed and he had to alight from his chariot. He, however, continued the fight, sword in hand. Shakuni came back and took the prince away in his chariot. Kritavarma made a strong attack on Bhima but was worsted. He lost his chariot and horses and acknowledging defeat, fled towards Shakuni's car with Bhima's arrow sticking all over him, making him look like a porcupine speeding away in the forest. Vinda and Anuvinda of Avandi, Avanti were defeated by Yudhamanyu and their armies were completely destroyed. Bhagadatta attacked Gatotkaja and put to flight all his supporters. But alone, Gatotkaja stood and fought bravely. bravely. But in the end, he too had to save himself by flying, which gladdened the whole Kaurava army. Shalya attacked his nephews. Nakula's horses were killed and he had to join his brother in the latter's chariot. 
both continued the flight uh, fight from the same car salya was hit by sahadeva's arrow and swooned the charioteer skillfully drove the car away and saved salya when the madra king salya was seen retreating from the field duryodhana's army lost heart and the twin sons of madri blew their conches in triumph taking advantage of the situation they inflicted heavy damage on salya's forces at noon yudhishthira led an attack on srutayu the latest well armed arrows intercepted dharmaputra's missiles and his armor was pierced and he was severely wounded yudhishthira then lost his temper, temper and sent a powerful arrow that pierced uh, srutayu's breastplate that day yudhishthira was not his normal self and burnt with anger Srutayu's charioteer and horses were killed and the chariot was smashed and he had to flee on foot from the field this completed the demoralization of Duryodhana Duryodhana's army in the attack on Kripa Chekitana losing his chariot and charioteer alighted and attacked Kripa's charioteer and horses with mace in hand and killed them Kripa also alighted and standing on the ground discharged his arrows Chekitana was badly hit he then whirled his mace and hurled it at Kripa charya but the latter was able to intercept it with his own arrow thereupon they closed with each other sword in hand both were wounded and fell on the ground when bima came and took chekitana away in his chariot shakuni similarly took wounded kripa away in his in his car 96 arrows of drishtaketu struck burishravas and the great warrior was like a sun radiating glory as the arrows all sticking in his breastplate shone bright around his radiant face even in that condition he compelled drishtaketu to admit defeat and retire three of duryodhana's brothers attacked abhimanyu who inflicted a heavy defeat on them but spared their lives because bhima had sworn to kill them thereupon bhishma attacked abhimanyu arjuna saw this and said to his illustrious charioteer krishna drive the car towards bhishma at that moment the other pandavas also joined arjuna but the grand sire was able to hold his own against all five until the sunset and the battle was suspended for the day and the warriors of both sides weary and wounded retired to their tents for rest and for having their injuries attended to after this for an hour soft music was played soothing the warriors to their rest that hour was spent says the poet without a word about war or hatred it was an hour of heavenly bliss and it was a glad sight to see one can see herein what the great lesson of the mahabharata is